The Linda K series is a forklift designed for use in warehouses. It can handle loads up to one and a half tons and in its maximum configuration place them at heights over 16 meters. It comes in a simple design of box with just a sleeve that encloses two expanded polystyrene trays and there's no information included about the real machine. Time to lift the pallet lid using the forks at the end of the hands and the model sits inside and it's quite large because this is a 1 to 25 scale model. As it's a Conrad model it has a high metal content and so it's relatively heavy too. The only other items in the box are some forks and the pallet. There's very little to do in the way of assembly except to attach the two forks which are metal pieces. And there is a technique to it, they need to be fitted in the centre of the plate and then slid to each side. So this is one of the few times you can slide a fork on a plate without other people complaining about bad manners. To complete the model the last thing to do is to slide on the load pallet. Looking underneath the model the detail is fairly simple and there are plastic roller wheels. The real forklift travels in very narrow aisles so it has guide wheels and these are modelled but they are a fixed part of the casting. At the back the curved shape is represented well with good paintwork and graphics and there's a beacon light on top. The operator's cab is modelled well with thin glass doors and the seat has a nice texture. The floor has got non-slip surfacing and the console has a small computer screen. The mast is solidly made of metal as are the parts of the two lift rams. The carriage is metal and there are teeth on the side shift mechanism. And the pallet is a simple plastic part. So it's into the Cranes Etc warehouse to try the Linda K series forklift. The plastic roller wheels were just a little bit stiff on the review model but they're okay. And the rear wheel has full 360 degree steering. Trying it out on a slightly rougher surface and it does roll a bit better because of the stiff wheels getting a bit of a grip. And let's have a bit of fun by setting the steering right over to a full lock. Don't you just wish you could turn your car as sharply as that? There's some nice functionality on the carriage that holds the forks. Firstly you can raise and lower them to get a bit of fine adjustment for level. And also the whole arrangement does rotate. So it's very manoeuvrable in tight spaces. It also has a working side shift arrangement so the carriage can be positioned anywhere along the front. A particular feature of this machine is that it can lift to a good height so let's explore that. Both the forks and the cap can be raised up but a word of warning don't do it too fast because it could smack you on the chin and knock you out. The mast on the model is not the tallest configuration available on the real machine but it's still pretty good. And when the cab gets to the top of the telescopic mast it still goes up higher. But one thing it can't quite do is stay there because there's not enough friction in the rams. There's another nice little bit of functionality in the cab and that is that the seat raises up to give more room on the platform. And that's a nice little touch on the model. It's 125th scale so it's quite a large model and when it's fully extended it reaches about a foot or 30 centimetres. So let's now give the model a real life genuine imitation test in the Cranes Etc warehouse. People often wonder what happens to the Cranes Etc team when they're not reviewing models. Well unfortunately their social skills are so poor they can't be let out into the real world. So at night they're made to stand on a pallet and they get stored in the warehouse. The Linda forklift elevates well and it's a good machine to use to stack the Cranes Etc team onto the top shelf. But unfortunately the right sized operator couldn't be found to drive it. So on this occasion it's being operated by some giant numpty. And if you watch carefully you can see that the operator is using all the skill of a zombie wearing a blindfold. Anyway after a somewhat pathetic performance the team are finally on the top shelf. And that's exactly what they are, a team from the top shelf. This is a large and solid model from Conrad and it's heavy too. It's well made with some decent details and there are some nice features which make it interesting. If you like the larger type material handling models then this one is recommended. Mm -hmm. 